So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the connection between organs and glands for the kidneys. Okay, so if your kidneys are not functioning properly, always, always, you're going to address your lymphatic system, without exception, and you're always going to address your adrenal glands, okay? And here's why. The lymphatic system connection to the kidneys is that in every single cell, including the kidneys, you have lymphatic fluid. And if the kidneys are not functioning properly, it's going to be the lymphatic um, system that's responsible, okay? Because mucus and acids, which are part of the um, lymphatic system, meaning that the mucus is part of the lymphatic system, if it's compromised, if it's stagnant, it holds acids and waste, and this will compromise the function of your kidneys. So you need to move the lymph system. So that's the first connection. So use herbs for the lymphatic system, but more importantly, you need to use the fruits for the lymphatic system. It's the only foods on the planet that's going to be able to move the lymph system or li liquefy it, okay? Number two, check the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are on top of the kidneys. They control the kidneys. Okay, they produce neurotransmitters that control the kidneys. So when the kidneys are not working properly, you need to address your adrenal glands. So always, always use herbs for the adrenal glands. Um, I mentioned the herbs on the protocol. You can you can look look it up over there. But herbs like rhodiola, panache ginseng, um, these are fantastic in strengthening the adrenals. Licorice root is another good one. Okay, so make sure that you're using herbs for your adrenal glands. Next, check check your pituitary gland. Very important. Why? Because that gland controls your adrenal glands. Okay, so you want to make sure it's in good working order. The only way you're going to know if it's compromised is by doing an eye reading. Um, I don't expect you to know how to do eye readings, but it's always a good idea to use herbs for your pituitary gland anyways. Uh, herbs like chase free berry are fantastic for that. The pituitary gland controls your adrenal glands. Adrenal glands control your kidneys. You can see where there can be an issue. Okay. Next, check the bowels. You, sh you should have good bowel movements. Your GI tract, the entire GI tract, it connects every single organ in some way, shape, or form. So if you have problems with your kidneys, you have to make sure your, your bowels are clean, your GI tract is clean. This means work the liver, work the pancreas, and more importantly, work um, the entire uh, bowel. So clean the small intestines and clean the large bowels. Make sure you use enemas, make sure you use herbs to address all those parts. So remember that nothing is... Um, local or by itself in, in the body. When you have a kidney problem, there are many things interconnected to it and those things need to be addressed because very often you could have your adrenal glands controlling your kidneys and you don't have really have a kidney problem but you have an adrenal gland problem, okay? Or you have um, a lymphatic issue which you need to address. So always address those, especially when you're, uh, you're targeting the kidneys.